This is just a quick video on the bridge, the Francis Key Scott Bridge that was ran into, 1.28 a.m. In Gematria, that means um, bridge collapse. The number means bridge collapse, 128 m. 128 means bridge collapse. It's also 128 days till Francis Key Scott's birthday. And also, oh, some other stuff. 13 days, the Lord showed me, it's 13 days till the eclipse. I believe that's a sign, a prophetic warning. And also, just the enemy is after America to bring about her collapse. And that we need to stand in the gap and pray. And our my prayer team prayed the other day because it was, I felt really strong to pray for the president. Uh, President Trump because they were trying to seize his properties, this crazy rogue government, this deep state, these judges that have went mad. And just then as we prayed the next morning, the appellate court stepped in and they reduced the, the fine he had to pay way down for this crime that isn't even a crime. So that was one thing. And then we see also in the news this um, sex trafficking thing coming out, FBI invading um, Diddy's home and all that, P. Diddy, and all those people involved. So we, because we were praying for justice, we were crying out for justice in our country. It seems like injustice is always winning. And we were crying out for justice and we were praying. And I want you to know your prayers are powerful. Your intercessors, your joint heirs with Christ and Christ is the intercessor after, after the order of Melchizedek. He stands in the gap. He proclaims and things happen. And that's you. You proclaim there's a sword coming out of your mouth and things happen when you pray. Angels go and they come for your words and they go and execute things. And I want you to know that you stand in authority with Jesus. You're seated with him in the heavenly realm, high above all principalities and powers and rulers of darkness. You are not powerless. You might feel powerless, but you are not. Be aware of the signs and things happening. We are in the last days. So many people say, oh no, this, they've always said that. That very word, I believe in First Peter, says in the last days they will say, oh, they've always said that. And also people hating us. And as we stand up for the Lord and what's right. that That's also was to come in the last days. It's happened a lot all along, but it's also proclaimed in the last days. People will hate you. They'll turn on you. People's natural love will grow cold and so much more. But be tuned into the Holy Spirit and listen to what he's showing you and the signs. He's 13 days before the eclipse. I know this is important. And our fast continues up to the eclipse. We've been fasting 40 days. We've been fasting pride. We've been fasting uh, judgment and a bunch of other things to get our heart right so we can be right with the Lord to speak his word boldly and uh, have nothing of the enemy in us. And that's so important. Spend these last 13 days up to the eclipse getting your heart right with the Lord. And so you're ready in this time. You are his prophet. You prepare the bride. He sent us to prepare his bride. And that's what we're about doing. And the enemy will attack you. I've been attacked today. Yeah, I have, usually I have a great day and the next day I'll come under attack. But that's the way it happens because we prayed with power and things happen. The enemy comes in and attacks and we prayed with power and uh, the, the courts, ooh, justice came even to P. Diddy and this whole situation with him and uh, sex trafficking. And I continue to declare that stuff will be uncovered in Jesus name everywhere it is, even in the church. Uh, you know, the Lord told me at the beginning of this 40-day fast, judgment starts with the church. That's why we started this fast, Lord, make our hearts right. And then judgment's coming to the world. We can see it already happening all around us. The rogue government trying to come against Trump and anybody, not just Trump, anybody that stands up for righteous what's right. The, the January 6th prisoners kept jailed and with no trial. That's just crazy. And on and on, things like this. And uh, slipping in things into the bill. The other day, there was a bill, a, a spending bill passed, and they slipped right into that bill. And this is the Republicans that let it go through, too. The only one that stood up was Marjorie Taylor Greene. She has balls of steel. And that's why they come against her and hate her so much. But she stood up for this bill and said, against this bill and said, they slipped in late-term abortion right into this bill. They tried to pass it through just like that and not even give us the 48 hours to read it. A spending bill. And that guy, Mike Johnson, that they was supposed to be a good Christian Republican leader, he passed it right through. They take bribes under the table. It's it's uh, corruption everywhere. Republican, Democrat, CIA, FBI, everywhere. There's the the judges, 
the courts, it's all, there's corruption in every part of it because the ruler of this age has his claws in them and money is their God. That's why it's so important that money is not your God. You know that Jesus gives you money to use, but it doesn't have anything in you. Whether you have it or you don't have it, you lose it all. They come and take it just like they did Trump or Giuliani or trying to with Trump. Took all Giuliani's money because of these fake law cases, you know, trumped up cases. It doesn't matter if they take all your money, just like our founding fathers put all their money on the line. Don't let that money have anything in you where you can be swayed. If you're in politics, if God's putting some of you there, don't be swayed by money. Let them take it all. It doesn't matter. You're here for a short time. You have a mission, and that mission is so important. Don't be swayed to the right or the left. Keep your face set like Flint on Jerusalem, just like Jesus, which means your mission. Keep your face set on your mission, even if it's a hard mission. Jesus' mission was to die at the cross, and he kept his face set like flint on that mission. Can you do that for such a time as this? He's raising up a bride that won't back down, will keep their face set like flint. They won't go for the cotton candy religious Jesus that's just, oh, yeah, everything's okay, man. Oh, just, oh, destiny. What does that mean? We're just here to, to love each other, you know, and, and get along. And, yeah, you can have sex and do what, with whoever and do whatever. But don't speak up because that's bad. You don't speak up. John the Baptist spoke up boldly and it cost him his head. He spoke up to the king and said what he was doing was wrong. Does that mean he was being political and he was being bad? No, the Holy Spirit had him do that and his head was taken. Are you willing to do that? Elijah spoke up to Jezebel, the, the, the wife of the king that was bringing in idol worship into Israel. And her prophets spoke up, had a showdown with fire that came down. Are you willing to be that kind of a prophet in the last days that will speak when it isn't popular? You have to be. You have to be sold out. Surrender. That's what it means to surrender all. Surrender all. I'm not scared. I'm as bold as a lion. The righteous are as bold as a lion. My words will be in your mouth like a sword. Yes, we are the loving ones. They think they're the loving ones, but they're not the loving ones. We are bringing the love of Jesus because we're bringing freedom. We hold the keys and authority to unlock every cage. And we're coming with power and might. And we won't back down because we're not selfish. We're not letting ourselves get in the way. We're letting ourselves down he's given us keys of authority to go and unlock the prison doors and open them up swing them wide open open blind eyes i command the veil of illusions of the devil to drop now and the mighty great end time harvest to begin work because people will see what's really going on that's why i was brought back to the lord i had fallen way away and um drugs and everything else this isn't my testimony so i'm not going to go there but he showed me as I, as I was trying to come back to him. And in a three day, uh, I, I ain't even going to go into it, but I saw visions that brought me back to him. They were more real than this realm. This realm is the fake realm. This realm is, it's real, but I mean, it's comparatively, that realm is so vivid when you see it and you see near death experiences, they'll tell you the same thing. This realm seems like the fake lo-fi realm. That's the high definition realm. And I wasn't on drugs when he showed me this stuff, just so you know. No, but he showed me what was going on behind the veil and why they were trying to destroy me. I saw the devil. The, I saw this high up powerful witch. And I saw other stuff and I even seen them in real life. They came to me and said, we know who you are. Do you know who you are? Stuff like that. I'll go into it another time. This isn't about my testimony. But I want you to know spiritual things are real. And you that are riding on the fence, there's a fence no more. The Lord says, you overcome. I will give you to rule with me with a rod of iron. I will give you the morning star, the position to rule. And there's no more going with the world. There's no more lukewarm. He's spitting you out if you're going to be there. Go with the devil if you want to go with the devil. Go with the Lord. But you have to choose a side. It's time to choose. There's no more wishy-washiness. And you will see that as these days count down. It's going to be more and more clear. I'm going to end this video in a few in a minute. So, quota shanda karasita, I pray over these people. I pray over these people that these videos will go out and pierce their heart. I pray that these videos will be watched by who they're intended to be watched by those that are ready to receive, ready to weep, ready to come home because we are in a great revival that can't even be called a revival. It's a revolution, a love revolution that's Jesus drawing his sons, his prodigal ones home, daughters, sons. He's 
the one lost sheep, that's you. He wants you home, my friend. He's calling you. He weeps for you. He wants you to be part of his bride in this great end time army. I love you guys. If you uh, get a hold of me, be part of our messenger group. Tune in if you want to. You can go deeper. I love you. You're watching Tiavi Tiavi TV.